or school killed you. You have a serious case of the Mondays? Fret not, for there is a remedy. Alright, uh, welcome back ladies and gentlemen, this is Acolyte Aerotech speaking and I <laughs> thought of trying something new here on Main Game Monday and this little game here is called Divinity Original Sin 2 um, It's... Uh, yeah, it's a game I can't really describe uh, you know the Dungeon Siege titles way back then, where you had to click to move your character around? Um, it's a bit like that. It has a top-down view, but you uh, can zoom in and out as you like. Um, plus the battles are, um, you could say, um, turn-based. But yeah, they they are different. <laughs> but you can plan out the battles really nice. It's a really tactic game. Uh, I played the first ta one, the original Sin, but yeah, um, I didn't really know there was a second second one, um, but it uh, appealed to me that they, are, they were raising a um, fundraiser and basically had the second game partially crowdfunded, if I understood that correctly. Yeah, um, but it's highly anticipated, uh, just came out on 14th of September for PC in Euro in the EU, at least. <laughs> so yeah, there it is. Um, you know we are all about the slow pacing of games and Divinity is a game where you can take your time in battle um, and you have to take your time in battle to take the right steps and <laughs> don't get yourself killed because the difficulty of these battles is hard I would say so even if you play on the standard difficulty um, it actually says you have few, uh, you have to have your wits about you <laughs> we'll see that later um, yeah so let's dive right in making this the new official main game Monday series um, yeah and hope we have some fun playing it alrighty um, let's see um, oh that's weird now it's gone um, be right back. Alrighty, we are back. So, a little spasm. Uh, so, the game right out of the box, well not out of the box, um, out of the email you could say, because apparently today nobody uh, bothers to uh, buy a game box anymore, but yeah. Um, I didn't done anything, so I'm starting with the story. Of course it's single player, it's the classic mode. So what's with Tactician? Let me read it for. Uh, cunning and relentless, they are bombarded with nasty tricks and surprises that the explorer and classic mode don't feature. Not for the faint of heart. Well, I'm going with classic because I'm not that experienced <laughs> with tactics. Um, if you watch my uh, Valkyria Chronicles video, you will say, uh, see <laughs> that I'm not the best tactician in the world. Alrighty, 
Uh, I don't want to be a dwarf. <laughs> Would you look at this? Oversexualized elves. But uh, look at the muscles. <laughs> she even has muscles down there, oh man. And she will eat you for breakfast, that's for sure. Oh dear. A lizard? So basically an Argonian with a broken neck. Okay. <laughs> and a dwarf. Oh no, the undead dwarf, I see. Oh uh, no, 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 no. No, I don't want to have a, a dog souls right now. <laughs> uh, a nice option. What's a beast? I see. So let's go with the origin story. I don't know what this is, but I think it's more immersive, I guess. <laughs> um, but I don't want to use a knight. I want to be the rogue, as always. Alright. Um, we got copper flavored hair. <laughs> And a female, so that's all I want. Maddening song. Mm. Alright. We can encourage, at least. But we are a rogue. <laughs> um, well. For three turns. Okay, so you could do it before the battle. Well, okay. Um, shall we listen? Oh, all right. All my life I've been a performer, a musician, beloved and celebrated by all. But I have a secret. I'm also a playground for sprites and spirits and worse. The voice that rings inside me now is darker than any that came before. <laughs> Almost caused a bunch of my fans to rip each other to pieces. <laughs> but you can trust me. I've got this under control. <laughs> You're sure about this? Step one. Find out who or what is trying to take control of my mind. Step two. Make it sorry it ever tried. No, I can live with that. <laughs> alrighty, alrighty. Uh, two bonus initiative and 5% extra critical chance. Oh, alright. And one to bothering. Yeah, okay, let's go with it. Oh. Can we change the appearance? Oh. We can change. <laughs> All right, uh, don't want to bore you with that. Um, be right back. So I walked through the separate menus, and now we can <coughs> choose an instrument to accompany our in-game music, um, because our character apparently has one of these instruments in their background story. Which is a really interesting element, so let's see. Alright, got a flute.
<laughs> okay. I think I'm going with Oat or the Bansory. I think I'm going with the flute. <laughs> you can roast me later in the comments. Oh damn, take the oud. <laughs> or oud. The oud. <laughs> Sorry about this. <laughs> yeah, I'm done with character creation. Took long enough. Oh, and sorry about the webcam. Now let's put my face down here. It all happened like I knew it would. Oh, please, lady. A single drop of sauce. Lies to honey. The monsters swarmed. The rebel panicked. The carnage began. And the magisters pointed their fingers at me. Just as I'd planned. I was shackled and collared. And sent to Fort Joy. I'd come here to kill God Woken. But instead, I became part of their story. Alrighty. Can zoom in already. Damn. And here I was hoping my upstairs visitor was just playing tricks on me. Hmm. Alrighty. So camera movement with WASD as always. Oh, let's let's look into this medical cabinet. MTS always. God damn it. Oh, it can rotate. Nice. <laughs> oh. Um, so the sneaking in this game is really neat. <laughs> Please don't save the game. Yeah, so <laughs> if you are um, successfully sneaking, uh, your character will get yeah cover <laughs> based on its surroundings. So um, if you are on the street or something, you get uh, bushes. Let's check here. Yeah, no thanks. One sparkly green hate necklace is enough. Y yeah, all right. A grinning skull. Who are you? Nobody. Uh, I see. Okay, so the character obviously has uh, quite the right personality for me. <laughs> I'm always going the insane way. Who are you? Nobody. So. I won't say she's mentally ill, but yeah, let's look around. Oh, leprosy stuff. 
Oh, we can throw it around. <laughs> and we are taking it with us. Anti potion bottle. Okay, it's all mine. Small tome. Candle holder. Oh, we can dim the lights. Hmm. Alright. Oh, we have strength. <laughs> I'm sorry. A row of books, it's empty. Okay. Let's look into the inventory. Oh, my, these smelling salts are strong stuff. Can we unequip our. Ooh. <laughs> uh, let's put on clothes again. Can we. Alrighty. Guess so. Um, a backpack. Oh, I see. Let's put our Red Roger story stuff in there. Oh, where did I leave my calipers? The uh, zoomed yours is Roger's part of civil society. Yet we need to look no further. Mm. All right, the source colors are effective. That's what we are wearing around our head. All right. I hear a goat. Okay, the basic attack. Oh, everything spick and span. Nothing left to do, really. Oh, nice. All right. Let's let's go. Holy moly! <laughs> a, a barrel. Yeah. Okay, it's empty as always. Ah, you're up. Yes. Looks like that collar fits you snugly enough. Nice bit of work, even if I do say so myself. Oh, thank you. There. Not too tight, I hope. The collar, I mean. Oh, not a worry. Every dog has to get used to its leash. <laughs> In the meantime, your next stop will be Magister William. All passengers have to be registered in the ship's manifest, and he's the chap in charge of the logs. You'll find him on the other side of this deck, in the officer's quarters. Hmm. Hoisting your 50 pin. <laughs> Is this the ram's head, Lou? Oh man, it's a long back dream about ship sailing the river of death, but you're not dead, are you? Let's ask if we are dead, because I'm the mystic kind of guy. No, you're alive and you're having a conversation. Thank you. You are on a ship, of course. But luckily for us both, we're merely sailing the plain old sea. Index fingers pressed to her lips. She pauses a moment to give you a scrutinizing gander. What's with this guy? My word, you do seem a bit befuddled, don't you? Perhaps I was a bit too generous with that sedative. <laughs> oh well, I'm sure you'll soon gather your wits. Most likely. Eventually. In the meantime, all you need to know is that we're en route to Fort Joy. I'm not having any joy a whatsoever. New life awaits. And if you're a particularly good girl, perhaps a cure as well. An end to source for good. Milk. Mug of wine effects unknown. G give me your wine, woman. Oh, I, I don't have. Uh. Oh, can I? No, no, no. All right, I see, I see, I see. Let's demand to know why, why we are for my peace of mind, of course. Why don't you try casting one of those source spells of yours? See what happens. All right, let's try. Currents of magic surge inside you, boiling, bursting, then breaking, only to fade back into your soul like rain into the earth. My, look at the concentration on your face. All will, but no result. 
There you have it, see? The collar's function. It neuters you, of sorts. Makes you unable to cast source. For your own peace of mind, of course. Yours and the whole world's. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, let's sell her. What a well of knowledge this tome is. Dallas is such a dear lending it to me. Let's sell her own. You've been collared and you've been told why. There really is no need for you to linger. Her own laboratory equipment. Uh, give me your. Uh, how much is the mug of wine? Ten? Oh my. Okay. Let's say you give me seven for a worth of five. Alright. Your offer insults me. Okay. <sighs> well, at least she bought her own <laughs> lab equipment back. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Having fun. Or oh man, there's another. There's blood. Good gods. There's, there's been a murder here. A young magister stands pale and silent. Her knuckles whiten around her weapon as you pass. Oh, sorry. Behind the magister, a bloodied mass lies in a heap. Gore and limbs lie at odd angles. You can't make out a face amid the mess. Hmm. Let's ask what happened. There's been a murder. A sorcerer was killed by one of your own. Lucky you were busy getting your collar fitted at the time, or you'd be a suspect like the rest of them. I see. Waters is investigating. She'll figure out who did it. Always does. Clap him on the back and say you're sure they have it 100% under control. <laughs> Shall we do? Uh, let's see. Perhaps we could lend a hand. Aren't you enterprising? I'll let Waters tell you now herself. All right. She with the body. Nothing to see. Ah, oh, I wanted to pet him on this back. And what's about the book? I wanted to read it. Okay, the Source King insists there are no magics to foul. Helm color mask. Okay, so I tried out different things. Let's move around here. So now she looks there. No lesions, no trauma. Alrighty, now let's. Let's sneak. <laughs> I want to steal this book, god damn it. Oh nice. And <laughs> we've got an achievement. <laughs> Alright. Some crime scenes. Like murdering or stealing, leave a crime scene even if nobody saw you commit a crime. Uh, okay. You there, I've got the look of a thief. I need to look through your bags, all of them. Try to talk out your way. Ooh. Okay. Which say you are transporting the pack for a friend and promised you would keep its contents private. That's not the case. Finest proclaim you at your nobility and will not enter the. Hmm. Wink and insists you deserve a break. You're the same race after all. Let's proclaim that we are nobility. <laughs> oh, damn it. Did you really think that tall tale would work with me? Hmm. 
Oh no. I'm going to die. <laughs> At least there is an auto save. Okay, be right back. Alrighty, uh, I'm back and I successfully stole the book <laughs> by hiding in this room. This is really immersive, this stealing, so they are really searching for you. Um, and if you hide long enough and well enough, they won't find you and eventually give up. Which is really nice. Alrighty. It seems as though there's a pattern in the blood flow. That can't be natural. Let's talk to Ugly this. Sight, isn't it? Burns me up this happened under our protection. We're extremely lucky no void walk and followed the source that did this. <laughs> um No. Finn didn't see it like that. He was desperate for us to help him. Two things scared the living daylights out of him. His own shadow and his own source. We'll find out who did this. Speaking of... She looks up at you with a mirthless smile. I was on duty in your room when the murder happened. You were asleep the whole time. Didn't even stir. You're one of the only indisputably innocent people on the ship. Unless you can commit murder in your sleep, of course. <laughs> Shrug and say maybe you can. <laughs> no, 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 no. Tell her that's a trick you haven't quite mastered. Well, we have a funny attitude. Ask if she's investigating her fellow magisters as well. Yeah, it's, let's be a bit provocative. Finn was killed by Source. If a Magister could do that, there wouldn't be a Magister. All right. It looks more like a passenger managed to slip their collar. And the rest, well, you see the... Listen, I could use someone to keep their ears open among the passengers. Sometimes they clam up in front of a uniform. All right. Bring me a good lead and I'll throw in a shiny gold coin for you. How about that? <laughs> I ain't a snitch. <laughs> I ain't no snitch. Oh, she thinks you'll tell the magister. Well, she didn't do me bad or wrong, so why should I? Consider I had not dead. We are no in no good uh, position to say something like this. All right. Um. Let's not. Thanks. I just want to catch whoever did this before they hurt anyone else. All right. Me too. Uh, sorry, I don't want to steal anything. Chunk of flesh. Elves can eat limbs and experience memories of the person who whom the limb belonged. Okay. <laughs> so, if you played an elf, you could eat body parts and then have an like episode or something. Oh. Alright, let's talk to the other passengers. They seem like children. Oh, and they are playing ball. I hey, see. I know who you are. You're a singer. My mum likes you. Alright. I know you. I heard you sing once. Before. Out there. Wow. I like your hair. I like your eyes. I like your color. I have one too. Uh, seems like I'm a bit famous around here. You can't understand what this animal is trying to communicate. If you had the pet pal talent, you could have meaningful conversation. 
Um, all right. Let's tell him our name. Well, you aren't here on my list, Scrammy. We're trying to catch a killer here. All right. Like I said, you aren't on the list. I've seen more Let's turn out the light. You one of them? A divine order loyal. They killed a sorcerer, you know. They're hiding evidence well enough, but make no mistake. So if I was an elf, I could easily find out. It's totally upright on the bench. Palms face up on his knees. His beard is a cascade of meticulous plaits, each one braided through with golden medallions. Nice. He raises an eyebrow as you approach, but doesn't open his eyes. Hmm. Listen up, ghetto. You hear that? Ship, of course. To the sounds of the ship. A wave of sound washes over you. The unintelligible chatter of your shipmates. The groaning of wood from floor to ceiling. The boom, crash and crackle of waves around you. Complaints from the sea itself. Hmm. And? <laughs> ship is moaning like a sick man. Sea sounds angry. Yeah. The fellow cocks his ear, listening. That isn't anger. It's he cocks his ear to the other side, then smiles. And that's all no, 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 no. Listen close. Anticipation. She senses something. I hold on to my breeches as well. All right. Okay. Let the ampute sounds fade away. There now, just like that. Squeak. His eyes snap open as his countenance breaks into an expression of joy. One great paw claps you on the back, the other catches you before you lose your footing. There, you heard it, didn't you? I knew it. I knew it. Aye, this is good news, ghetto. Good news. Alright. That was nothing more than a rat. No, you beautiful idiot. That wasn't any rat. It was the wheel. It squeaks whenever the helmsman jerks it clockwise, which means we're heading east. Alright. Burn my beard. That means if we've been traveling for, yes, only 10.34 nautical miles to Fort Joy. Yeah, ask what the figure meant to him. Captain, actually. And that figure tells me we're getting close to the joy. Close to what lies beyond it, too. Mm -hmm. The dwarf leans back from the table and strokes his beard, gold medallions jingling merrily. His eyes roll over to you. That'll be all. Thank you kindly, ghetto. Hmm. We can easily find him again, again. Let's cock an eyebrow. He continues stroking his beard, a beatific smile on his lips, and doesn't acknowledge you anymore. If you'll be pardoning me, I'll be much obliged. God damn it. I'm a famous person. Why are you ignoring me? Oh, oh what's... What's wrong with you? An elf sits tucked away in a dark spot, lazily rolling dice onto the surface of a barrel. They sound like the dry cackling of an old witch. Snake eyes. <laughs> she chuckles. I bet that's just what they'll look like. Ask if I hate John here. She shakes her head. No. Game for one, I'm afraid. All right. Rolling dice. Deciding fates. 
can you read the future on cow and dresses? Why? Some of these are really insulting. Don't worry, honey. It isn't yours. Right. She looks you up and down with the merest tint of a coy smile on her lips. Never say never, though. Ask her. Uh, uh, let's be provocative. She eyes you quite seriously. <laughs> Not the future, no. But I can read the past in flesh. One of the perks of being an elf, you see. I'm quite good at it too. And we stole a limb from the corpse. Even I before. I lick your arm and tell you how you spent the night before last. Shall I? Okay. Why not? Let's lick our arm. She gives your arm a vigorous stroke of the tongue, efficient like a cat grooming. Hmm. You were in a cellar with other sorcerers, a dark, dank place. I remember it well. As everyone lay sleeping, you sat in the dark with wakeful eyes, looking rather lovingly at <laughs> me. What? <laughs> My, aren't you a pretty cup full of sugar and spice? It's <laughs> quite forgotten. Admit white eyed that exactly right. I mean, we did stare up <laughs> the elves while creating the characters, so let's... Or should we snap it out? You don't know what you're talking about. Mm, let's admit it. Of course it is. The truth's right there. Skin deep. But don't you worry, darling. Your secret's safe with me. I don't lick and tell. Righty. The woman keeps rolling her dice. Uh, shame. No, I I couldn't hear, give her the flesh. I've stolen. Oh, barrel. With nothing in it, as always. Mm, nice. They really have an eye for detail. Nine gold. I'll be damned. Rubbish. I can buy. I can buy me a mug of wine now. You've been collared and you've been told You've been collared and you've been told why. There really is no need for you to linger. We'll keep the rope for now. So let's give her her Alright. And six gold. Hey, now where is my wine? Bastards. Alrighty. Perhaps she drank it already. Just give me four gold for your own lab, lab equipment. Somebody. The pale young woman doesn't acknowledge you. She nods to the right. Nothing to see here. Do you have wine? Lemonade. Oh, God damn it. Guess we have to stay sober this time. Sorry about that, guys and girls. Oh, sheep. Oh, found a bad roll. Alright. Let's go about and steal everything. A helmet? What? Give me that. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> like I said, you are on the list. Ooh, poison arrowhead. For tw seventy-two gold. All right. Like I said, you are on the list. No, uh, I think they won't recognize me anymore <laughs> with this helmet on. One of us wouldn't kill our own. They're picking us off one by one. Let's look at this crate. Wood chips. Bring. Mm -hmm. Soften them up to avoid injury. Let's just take them. 
let's talk to the other guys. Well, well, what have we here? A fresh face in this stale hell. Let's size you up, shall we? See if you'll do. The lizard looks you up and down, like a farmer would a fetching horse. All of a sudden, he grips you firmly by the chin, with the intent of inspecting your teeth. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. Let's slap away his hand hard. My, we are fierce, aren't we? Not to worry. I'll soon remedy that. Now then, to business. You will answer me three questions. The first one is this. Can you cook? Yes. Ah, oh, music to my beleaguered stomach. On to the second question. Can you knit, weave, in short, uh, tailor? Mm. <laughs> yeah. Provide cool stuff. <laughs> yes, I can tell from your vagabond chic, a bag is as good as a shirt kind of style. I shouldn't be getting my hopes up. Dude, I'm wearing a helmet that is a bucket. What tells you? <laughs> what tells you On about me? My final query. Have you the ability to administer the upkeep of one's personal appearance? The delicate art of cosmetics is what I'm after. So our character would say, just keep chewing your hair, it was already in your mouth anyway. Dear Lord, I might as well try and teach mathematics to a dog chasing its tail. So, three questions asked, three questions answered. Let's evaluate, shall we? As per your own testimony, you can cook, but you have the fashion sense of a monkey in a clown suit. Apparently. And personal hygiene reminds one of a carcass rotting in the sun. That won't do at all, see? I'm sad to say I must deny you the opportunity to be my slave. Ever so sorry. What? <laughs> Mightly disappointed. Damn it, he was looking... Be spot now? You've half a mind to punch him in the face. That's right. Or be sarcastic. Let's be sarcastic with him. I know, I know, but you just don't have what it takes. A good slave's made of sterner stuff, I'm afraid. Still, own your skills, and one day you may just qualify for a position in a lesser household than mine. You keep dreaming, you hear? No. What barrel? As soon as the Inquisitor gets here, All right. he'll hang you right over the side of this ship. Another kitchen pots. All right. How dare you classify this slop as food? I've seen more appetizing things coming out of. I spent my life singing for my slaves to bring me my supper. Finer fare than boiled roots and rotten tubers too. Meanwhile, the Magisters feast on honeyed meat behind this very wall. <gasps> The indignity. Nothing. Okay, so if I can steal these kitchen pots, I can sell them. Crabs Claw. I'll tell you if you can keep it quiet long enough for me to listen. All right, fine. So, does this mean if I move this around, there could be something behind it? I don't care. Let's talk to Fane. The elf is reading a volume of Cranley Hubert's famous encyclopedia. He looks up, his big round eyes scanning your body, absorbing every detail. He reaches out and takes your hand, turning it this way and that, examining it from every angle. Finally, he
He pinches your skin, gently tugging at it. Fascinating. Never seen a human before, I guess. He sits back and returns to his book, flicking quickly from page to page, completely oblivious to your presence. Let's ask who we are speaking to. Ah, yes. The niceties. My name is Fane. I am a scholar from... Well, I am a seeker of knowledge. That is enough. It is pleasurable to meet you. <laughs> Hardly. I've been reading this one for several minutes and I have yet to find a single insight into the mysteries of the universe. It is simultaneously too detailed and insufficient. <laughs> like I modern lecture. I the beginning of this tale and the end, but I am rather missing the middle. Mm. Tell me, what do you know of your... our world history? Explain that Rivalon's history is battled with source and void, good and evil, light and darkness. No, not divines. Sure, some stuff has happened at some point. Some even say it continues to do so. <laughs> Let's go with Mystic. Most unusual. And if it's not too rude to suggest, not much of an answer. True. No, I want to know about the Celestial. I want to know about your gods. This text tells me that they created all creatures. But nothing of what came before. Where did these gods come from? Who are their people? Where are the others of their kind? Hmm. Oh, I don't have any sure answers too. Yeah, that's true. <sighs> of course you don't have any useful information. Now please run along. I have a world to decipher. No amount of pestering will get the elf to take his eyes off his book or respond to your questions. But you wouldn't find out about the nature of gods by reading a book, I guess. Don't you get saucy with me. If you'll be pardoning me, I'll be much. Yeah, yeah, all right. Okay, so I think. It was one of them. I know it. Let's take these bad balls with me. Would you put a knuckle in it? I'm trying to concentrate. They don't care about us. We're like cattle to them. I'll give you that knuckle if you keep cutting. Oh, there's another one. A scruffy one. man lounges against the wall with scarred arms folded. A sly smile playing on his face. He stares across at the Magister guarding him. Noticing you, he straightens and beckons for you to come closer. Watch your back, new fish. There's a murderer on board, and I'd bet three months' pay it's this tramp Ifan. Okay. Rolling his eyes at the Magister's warning, the man named Ifan beckons again. He leans in and adjusts your collar with a sharp tug, balancing its weight so it no longer presses unpleasantly on your neck. He winks. Thank you. Inches less that way, right? Hocking a phlegmy gobbit in your general direction, the sullen Magister settles back to his task of glowering at Ifan. And now... You. We used to know each other, more's the pity. I was his commander many, many, many moons ago. Isn't that right, Vic? Standing far back from Ifan, the tight-faced magister draws one finger across his throat in an elaborate fashion, but says nothing. Ifan grins, flashing pointed white teeth. Same as he was at 14 years old. Only difference is, somebody gave him a bigger sword, and now he's Johnny Big Pants. Hmm, I see. I'm still curious about him, though. No. The dead man, Finn, is it? I'd no business with him. And I wouldn't put a man down without good reason. He glances over at Magister Victor, who's staring back at him with pointed intensity. Damn shame sheer annoyance isn't reason enough. Hmm. Yeah, why is he long story on this Maybe ship? Maybe I'll tell you about it in the joy. Away from interested parties. I see. The joy. I've heard a lot. Nothing good. 
No surprise there, since Bishop Alexander runs the show. Wonder if we'll get to meet the ringmaster himself. <laughs> I showed him exactly what I think of his bloody divine order. Easy now. I might think the same. But Vic here will blow a blood vessel if he hears you talking like that. What are you conspiring about over there? You? What's your name? Oh, don't mind him. Vic's just got a bee in his bonnet. And that bee is me. Alrighty. Name. Magister Victor looks at you suspiciously, then scrawls something illegible down in a tiny notebook. He scowls at you as he stows the notebook back in his voluminous robes. Away with you. Ifan performs an elaborate pantomime of keeping quiet, one finger in front of his lips as he leans back against the wall. Ah, uh, I could have given, given him for clues, a wrong name. I need to get clever with this lock. Hmm. Okay. I'll give you that knock -on if you keep need a lock pick for that one. One of us wouldn't kill our own. Like I said. Here's the register, ma. Good, good. Magister Williams is just about done with the last passenger. You faring okay so far? Call it like a duck stuck in a ship's hold with a corpse or and a murder on the loose. He tugs the collar of his uniform and chuckles. I'm sorry you're upset, ma'am, but we all wear what we wear for a reason. You head on in now. Williams will get you short at fast. Okay, it's making a safe file right now. Oh no, please. You see my lad, Jobson. Standing at the center of the room, you spot a sorcerer haughtily eyeing a pair of nervous looking magisters. They keep their crossbow trained upon her as she's being interrogated by an officer. So you admit it then? You murdered that poor fella. Yes, I did. But of course, that was only the beginning. Okay, it's the old hack from the intro. She turns her head and looks you straight in the eye. There are others whose lives must end. I see. Good God, the woman's mad. You there, sorcerer. Go and fetch Magister Siwan. We need to do more than collar this maniac. We need to shackle her hands and feet. Do we want to mutiny? Then ask her what she meant the other's life must end. Yeah. It means your journey draws to a close. Do stick around for its finale, though, because she reaches for her collar and simply removes it. What? I'm just about to create a scene. Uh. Subdue her, man, quickly! If she casts source, the void woken will come. They'll end us all. She smiles with wicked satisfaction. Precisely. Holy shit. What's what's happened? Uh, I don't think that's Magister Yona. <laughs> How could you be so sure? Let's take the broken collar. Just a grit. Sorry, I didn't want anybody to die. Oh, nice. Hmm. The toy crossbow? Well, let's take them all. Put everything in our backpack. Okay. Let's equip those both shifts. And then let's take Ooh, a bottle of wine. And a cup and a plate. Cheese bread. It's like Subway in here. Okay, 
Let's see, turn out the candle. Deck of cards, let's take it. Another one. And a playing card. <laughs> and another one, and another one. Mm. Uh, let's drink a bottle of wine now. And as expected, we are drunk. <laughs> okay. She. A bottle of wine. Empty cup. So if a lock is locked. Oh, I see we don't have a lockpick, but we can attack the lock. Um, mashed potatoes, poison bottle, journal. Restoration scroll and a washing tub. Uh, I wanna break in there. <laughs> That's for sure. Well, um, but I think I'm ending the episode here, and we can move. On, and we can move on next time before this ship sinks <laughs> into the sea. Yeah. So I hope you had fun until up until now <laughs> and want to see more um i sure had a little fun the dialogues are very very nice mate uh, the well uh, the game as well <laughs> because the first game was already a good one so yeah uh, i hope i could catch your interest and i'm looking forward to the next main game monday where we'll play the next episode of divinity original sin 2 so, if you liked the video, leave a like. If not, um, please feel free to push the dislike button, but also write a comment what I could do better next time. So, thank you for watching. This is Acolyte Aratok. Bye bye.